Hump day is over, gang! Just two more days before the easy part. Unless you got a great job. But let's be honest, nobody's enjoying their job these days. The people at home want to be at work. The people at work want to be at home. It's like, ah, what are we gonna do? Okay, HQ salutes all the hard workers of the world, whether they're putting themselves at risk for a living or following advice and staying out of harm's way. It's tough for everybody, and we will get through it together. Apart. You know what I mean. We're gonna get through it together from a distance. Yes. There's one piece of good news. Uh, today would have been Jackie Robinson Day if there was still any baseball. That came out wrong. But uh, it's not tax day anymore. They postponed tax day for three months. Yeah, we can't complain about that. Just throw some fire emojis in the chat if you got your stimulus check today, huh? Woo woo! So that's gonna help. Yeah. All right. And at HQ, every day means a chance to pick up some extra money. And tonight, I got $5,000 to divvy up among the best and brightest who reach the finish line of our nightly trial by inquire. It's like a trial by fire, but with questions. Yeah. And we're also determined to help out with the ongoing, unforgiving COVID-19 situation. So, we're matching that prize money and helping two great charities. That's right. Tonight, we're helping out the Greg Hill Foundation Okay, because them and Samuel Adams teamed up to create the Restaurant Strong Fund, supporting restaurant workers who've been impacted by the closures of business due to COVID-19. There are over a million restaurants in the U.S. with over 15 million employees who are extremely vulnerable right now. This Boston-based Restaurant Strong Fund is active across the country, donating millions to kickstart funding in 20 states. It's lit! And we're also helping slice out hunger, sending pizza to healthcare workers and others who need a boost during this pandemic. Okay, this supports many small businesses while fueling the fight against COVID-19. Hot pizza! Hot pizza! Hot pizza! Watch out! <laughs> it doesn't mean watch out. Who, who thinks that that means watch? I'm so mad at that cyclist. Ah, oh, well, I bet some of y'all are here to take a quiz, and I'm here to give it. Nothing to it but to HQ it until we're through it. 
Let's do it. Question number one. Here we go. On which website can a hashtag trend? Wikipedia, Etsy, or Twitter? What's it gonna be, y'all? All right, you can type all the hashtags you want on Wikipedia, but good luck getting them trending. No, you really need a social network like Twitter to, to get any traction on your opinion about Real Housewives. 89,842 got it right. Yee yee! I haven't said that in a long time. All right. Question number two, y'all, let's get it. Who made a famous series of paintings showing cans of Campbell's soup? Andy Warhol, Michelangelo, or Sandro Botticelli? The answer is Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol! I always like to give you a hint, and by a hint I mean the right answer at Q2, just to see how many of y'all don't listen to me. <laughs> if you were inside the art scene of the early 60s, this was a thunderous event that changed everything uh, for everyone else. It was funny for about 15 minutes. The perfect tribute to Andy Warhol. That's right. How, how do so many people still get it? I'm telling you what it is. 87,646 of y'all got it right. Andy Warhol's who I was looking for. Doing paintings with soup. Mm-mm, good. Question number three. Which of these African nations is an enclave? Lesotho, Gabon, or Malawi? An enclave, y'all. What's it gonna be? All right. You know enclaves if, if you're like a geography nerd. It's a piece of land, like a country, that's completely surrounded by a single other piece. Like how you can't walk out of Lesotho without hitting South Africa. It's surrounded. Do, 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 It's surrounded. Woogie, woogie, woogie. 45,725 of you got it right. We got $5,000 up for grabs. Come on, get with it. Question number four. What is soccer typically called outside of America? Association football, European football, or pitch football? Soccer. What y'all calling it outside the States? All right, this is not just an alternative, an alternate name, you know, it's the A in FIFA. In fact, the source of the word soccer is the SOC in association. Did y'all know that? That's pretty crazy. 28,155. I'm moving on to question number five. For the children. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Mm. Me, 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 me. It's for the children. Yeah. Here we go, Q5. Which of these is a real chemical element? Byzantium, taurine, or tennessine? What's it gonna be? What? Tap your answer. Time's up, okay. Science keeps finding new elements, right? And the last batch to get named honored Vanderbilt University in Tennessee, which helped discover number 117, Tennessee. Taurine's an active ingredient in Red Bull and Byzantium is now known as Istanbul. Yeah, it's tricky because Byzantium do look like an element when you look at it fast. That's what Captain America's shield's made out of. Psych. 13,246, uh, got it right, Tennessee. Question number six, let's get it. Neckties are believed to originate with mercenaries from what present day country? Bulgaria, Croatia, or Macedonia? What's it gonna be? Always the fashion leaders. It was the French who picked up on this fancy look from the dashing Croatians and started popularizing it. And if the language had gone differently, we might still call them cravats from the French for croat. Yeah, 12,622 got it right. After the game, um, idem kuchi, which is Croatian for going home. <laughs> okay. Question number seven. <sighs> Which word can be a present tense verb or a past tense one? Found, gone, or have? Lock it in, lock it in. These language questions have been real, 
You're tricky lately. Have can be an aug auxiliary verb with a past tense verb, but the real split personality is found because you can found an organization. 7,886, got it right. Moving on, oh, you know what? I was looking at, I was rubbing my hands and they felt a little, a little gross. So, you know what time it is. Sanitizer break, sanitizer break, here we go, sanitizer break, woo! -hoo! Got to sanitize, baby. And, and if you're lucky, you got a sanitizer that also moisturize. Moisturize while you sanitize. Don't let your hands get all dry. You start a fire. Yeah. Okay, question number eight. Let's get it. Which sport was not invented at a YMCA? Racquetball, volleyball, or table tennis? Not invented at a YMCA. Basketball is pretty well known for being invented at the Springfield, Massachusetts Y, but New England YMCA's are real cradles of American sports. Birthplaces of volleyball and racquetball. Ping pong started in Victorian England. 7,208. Got it right, tennis on a table. Y'all seen that movie, Balls of Fury? That was a ping pong movie, it was hilarious. Shout out to my homie, Judy Freeland. He's one of the best ping pong players I know. Question number nine. Here we go. What was the first song ever recorded in a popular audio format? Mary Had a Little Lamb, London Bridge, or Happy Birthday to You? Okay, we said popular because there was an 1860 recorded performance of Au Claire de la Lune. Yeah, but that was for the Zune or something. Uh, the original hot record drop was Edison's 1877 foil cylinder of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Take a listen to this. It's creepy. Lamb, its feet were white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Uh, try not to have nightmares from that. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Woo savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. 3,552 of you are moving on to question number 10. Time to get it in, my friends. Let's go. Q10, baby. What was the first breakfast cereal to feature marshmallows? Count Chocula, Lucky Charms, or Rocky Road? All right, yeah, there was a Rocky Road cereal in the 80s. It had uh, chocolate-covered marshmallows, but marshmallow cereals were nothing new by then. It started in 1964 when the Big G sent Lucky Charms to supermarkets, and nobody rioted. Check it out! Well, at least they could eat me Lucky Charms in peace. <gasps> wow, the marshmallow is delicious! Their marshmallow is delicious just sounds, it don't, it doesn't have that ring, you know? I'm glad they changed it. They're marshmallow -y delicious. Get out of here. What? Where's the magic, baby? Hot stars and horseshoes, clovers and blue moons, pots of gold and rainbows. You know the rest. Yeah, question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Let's go. What's the best selling NES game that was neither a Mario game nor included with the system? Legend of Zelda, Tetris, or Excite Bike? Taking it back with the. OG video game questions. All right, because it was a pack-in game, there are more copies of Duck Hunt in existence than mankind's gonna need for the rest of the century. But strip away those obvious bestsellers, and the top dog is Zelda, the original. Let's go. Legend of Zelda 3562, got it right. Shout out to Link. Yeah. All right. We got 3,562 of you moving on to the final question of the game. Let's get it. Carol Baskins. H. Cuter, husband, final question. Almost. Almost. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I can't stop blaming Carol Baskins for everything. I checked the fridge, there wasn't no eggs. I was like, Carol Baskin! <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number 12. Carol Baskins. 
Q12. Which Disney film was not set at the fictional Medfield College, Son of Flubber, The Monkey's Uncle, or Strongest Man in the World? All right, who's been watching Disney Plus, huh? This is a shared universe. You don't hear much about, okay? But the Flubber movies are the same school as the Kurt Russell College comedies, including Strongest Man in the World. But Monkey's Uncle, that's Midvale College. Oh, yeah! That was a little savage, but right now we have 1,422 winners of HQ Trivia. 1,422 of y'all is $5,000, let's go! Carol Baskin! Woo! Carol Baskin! Hilda Hudson Baskin! <laughs> I don't want Carol Baskin to reach out to me with a cease and desist. I'm like, stop telling everybody I did it. Okay, shout out to all of our winners. Give me a life. Hot pizza! Uh, <laughs> Taya Trivia, Mark Jolie, Ryan Wee 75, Claudia. You look like the girl from Brave, okay. But that is the girl from Brave. <laughs> Woo! Crashes. Who is Josh? Uh Alright. Yeah. 1419 with it. Uh <laughs> 1,419 of you just did it. And that's how we do it every single evening right here at HQ. We are inside your phone every night. And all you gotta do is tap the icon with the H and the Q, and then you're in the running for big cash prizes. Until next time, it's been me, Matt Was Funny, your boy, the only money flipper that you know. Right? I hope so. Who else out here flipping money? Nobody. Wash those hands, wear your masks, I love you! Carol, man.